This lesson is all about equal parts. We're at lesson 10.9. Equal parts are parts of a figure that are the same size and shape. Unequal parts do not have the same size and shape. They're not equal. Here we have a circle and it's in halves. There's two equal parts. The yellow part is equal to the blue part. It's like a line of symmetry, isn't it? We could fold this over and they would be the same size and shape, wouldn't they? You have to pay attention when there's one half, it's spelled with an F. When it's plural, there's more than one, like two or three or four. The F turns into a V-E-S and we say halves, okay? Here we have a triangle. It's cut into thirds. It's split into thirds. There's three equal parts. Each part is the same size. We have a square. It's cut into fourths. That means it has four equal parts. We can write the number of parts and circle equal or not equal. How many parts does this triangle have? One, two. There's two parts. Are they equal parts or not equal parts? Well, they look pretty equal to me, don't they? It looks like this could be a line of symmetry. We could fold this over and they would be the same. So these are equal, equal parts. How about this one? How many parts are there in this circle? Let's count them. One, two, three. There's three parts. Are they equal parts or not equal parts? Are they all the same size and shape? Now that blue one's really small, isn't it? So they're not equal. How about this rectangle? How many parts are there? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three equal parts. Right? They're all the same size and shape. Equal parts are the same size and shape, all right? Let's draw one or more lines to show equal parts. So if we wanted to have halves, we could draw a line right here, couldn't we? And now it's two halves, right? It's two equal parts. See? One, two. Two equal parts. Halves. What if we wanted to put lines in this circle to make fourths so that they were four equal parts? We could draw a line this way. Now we've got two equal parts, one, two. And if we draw a line this way, now we have one, two, three, four equal parts, we've made fourths. For thirds, that means we need three equal parts. We could draw a line here, and we could draw a line here, and we'd have one, two, three equal parts. What if we wanted to make a four equal parts, fourths, for a rectangle? We could draw a line and make two halves, and then we could draw a line to make halves of that and halves of that, and we'd have one, two, three, four. See? If we used a ruler and measured it, we would get exactly equal parts, wouldn't we? It's kind of hard to do it with just looking at it with my hand. How about if we wanted to make halves? Well, just like we did on this one, we just draw a line down the middle, don't we? Halves means two equal parts, one, two. Now look, the rectangle is standing up. How can we make thirds, three equal parts? Well, when we did it over here, we drew it this way. So couldn't we, if I turn my camera, couldn't we draw the lines coming across like that? See? So 
for thirds, we could come across this way, couldn't we? And we could have one, two, three. How else could we have done it? What would be another way that we could make thirds with this rectangle? We could draw lines going across this way. What would happen if I drew them going this way? That's like a Kit Kat bar, isn't it? Like a candy bar? So we'd have one, two, three. So that would be thirds also, wouldn't it? My lines have to be straighter, but you know what I'm trying to do, right? What if we wanted to make halves? That means we need two equal parts. We could draw a line this way, couldn't we? That would be the line of symmetry. We'd have one, two. We couldn't draw it this way because that top part wouldn't be equal with the bottom part. We could draw it this way so that we have two equal parts. What if we wanted to make fourths? We could make an X in here, couldn't we? We'd have one, two, three, four equal parts. How else could we have done it? If we have a diamond shape, how else could we cut it so it's got four equal parts? We could draw a plus sign, couldn't we, like that? So we could make four equal parts this way, or we could make four equal parts this way. We can make an X inside of it, or we can make a plus sign inside of it, see? Either way, we're going to make four equal parts in a square or a diamond. What if we wanted to make thirds in a circle? We can't just draw lines like we did with a rectangle. That wouldn't work. If we had a circle and we just drew lines, this part isn't equal to that part, so that doesn't work. We would have to do it the same way that we did this triangle. We'd have to find the middle and then make the lines come out. All right, so let's do that. So for a circle, we need to find the middle. We can have one line going this way. We can have one line going this way and one line going this way. Now we've got one, two, three equal parts. See? If I measured them, they'd be better. All right? So let's try some problem solving. Emma and Tala want to fold the rectangle into fourths. Draw two different ways they could fold the rectangle. So we need four equal parts. So how could we fold a rectangle? Well, we could make it so that we did it like over here with one, two, three, four. We could do that, right? We could draw lines. First thing we do is cut it in half, and then we cut the half in half. See that? Then we have one, two, three, four. Four equal parts. Now what would be another way we could make equal parts? There's a clue. The clue is what we did with the diamond. We could cut it in half like this, and then we could cut these in half going this way, couldn't we? And then we'd have one, two, three, four. See? So there's two different ways that we could cut the rectangle or fold the rectangle to make equal parts. And those are fourths, four equal parts. Now, is there another way? A third way that we could fold the rectangle into fourths? So we want four equal parts. We did it going with the lines going this way. We did it with like a plus sign. What would be another way of making four equal parts? We can't do the X like we did in the square because these sides are shorter than these sides. And if we did it with an X, see how long this triangle is and how short this triangle is? So that doesn't work. We can't do that, okay? But there's got to be some other way we could fold this into fourths. Our clue is what we did with the thirds. We could draw the lines going this way, couldn't we? So we could draw one, two, 
three lines, and we'd have one, two, three, four parts. See? So we could draw the lines going vertically up and down like this. We can make a plus sign inside to have four equal parts, or we can make horizontal lines going side to side and make fourths. See? So just remember that equal parts means that they're the same size and shape. You can't have some that are one size and some that are another size. That's not equal parts, okay? Equal means it's the same, okay? All right, we're going to continue talking about equal parts and fractions, and I hope I'll see you at the next video. Bye.